over 300,000 views within a three hour time span. And I logged in and saw that my account had been suspended indefinitely. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and I hope you're having a great day. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, then you'll know that I gained a huge following on TikTok and was super proud of it. We hit about 570,000 followers. Unfortunately, they had banned me and removed me off of the platform so I can no longer post videos or anything of that sort. So let's start from the very beginning, July 4th of 2020, which was last year, I posted my first TikTok video on the Benchmade Infidel. Now the Benchmade Made Infidel is a pretty sweet knife, and I just wanted to share it on a completely different platform, aka TikTok. Now, TikTok at the time was just a platform for a bunch of people to post their dancing and whatever else. So I wanted to share something that I was a little bit more into, such as knives. But basically, what happened on that July 4th at 8 p.m., I had posted that video of the infidel, not expecting anything from it. I had, I think, two followers, and it was just a brief 15-second clip of the Benchmade Infidel. Fastest review of the Benchmade Infidel. Deep carry pocket clip with Infidel etched. Run. Aluminum handles. Stepped firing switch. Insane deployment. So I was honestly not expecting a ton of traction from that. I literally posted the video and then went to a buddy's barbecue right afterwards. I didn't really look at my phone and right when I got home, I literally opened up the app and saw that it hits over 300,000 views within a three hour time span. At the time, 300,000 views was a tremendous amount. And then it kept scaling, you know, after the next hour it hit 600,000 and then eventually hit 1 million views on the actual video. After that, that, I was hooked to the platform. Now, I posted a bunch of videos on Benchmade knives, Spyderco knives, and a bunch of other variants. Within that 11 month time frame, I learned a lot about the platform. TikTok and their AI or whoever reviews the videos have something against the EDC community. They see knives as weapons instead of tools. And behind the scenes, I've had over 500 videos taken down and I'm not even kidding you guys. So six months ago, every single video I would post would get taken down. I had had already started to email TikTok and their support team asking if we can change something within the EDC community on TikTok. I probably sent in over 40 emails with zero responses. I've also used their feedback option to give them some feedback. The knife community and EDC community in a whole could utilize this platform and it really make this a more mainstream thing. At one point, I was posting over five videos every single day on the platform. Basically, a couple months ago, TikTok had changed their community guidelines and I received my first ban. Now, this was a short three-day ban and I didn't really think much of it and basically just waited it out, posted the video after the first three days. There's basically a prompt that said, you are now banned for three days and then until this time and date. And I was just like, okay, that's not a huge deal. They've removed a bunch of my videos in the past already, so I thought it was just something else that they had implemented. What really started to worry me is after the ban, about three days after that, in fact, TikTok banned me again, but this time it was for a week's time frame, And that got me really thinking, like does TikTok have a three strikes and you're out type of deal? And nowhere in their community guidelines will it say that there's a three strike rule, so I was kind of already on edge. So after the week's time frame, I actually gave it a couple days before I posted another video. I actually got a couple videos posted and there was no issues whatsoever. Waited about another three days just to keep it safe and then I did an unboxing video. And in that unboxing video, I was showing a ProTech automatic knife unboxing and pretty much opening up a package. That was it. That's all I did in that video. And the next morning after I posted that video, I checked my phone, logged in and saw that my account had been suspended indefinitely. Guys, that took a huge shot to my heart because there are so many many of you guys that enjoy my content. I love making the content. They did give me an option to send in an appeal. So I did write a very long appeal letter to the TikTok team. On the next day in the afternoon, they had posted on my account that they had reviewed my appeal and they can no longer work with me as a channel. You see, the problem I have with TikTok is they see knives as weapons and not actual tools. 
Of course, you can use one of these for self-defense, but it's primarily used to cut open packages, cut rope, do whatever I want to cut things with. So how do I feel about everything that's happening with that platform? Honestly, guys, I looked at TikTok as a way to get my face out there. That is what the actual platform was used for in order to grow my YouTube channel and my Instagram. I look at my Instagram and YouTube more so as my primary assets. So yeah, it might hurt a little bit that, you know, I lost the 570,000 followers. There were some avid supporters and I would see familiar faces all the time. However, I'm a very motivated person and this is not going to stop me whatsoever in terms of creating content. Guys, shit happens and we have to move forward. I'll look at TikTok in a different way. They don't have the option to share knives and EDC gear. So I'm gonna use Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts to provide you guys some amazing content. All the followers on TikTok, if you came from TikTok, I really do appreciate you. And I will give you a promise that I am not gonna stop my content whatsoever anytime soon. My goal is to make knives and any other EDC gear a mainstream thing. And we're gonna do that using Instagram as well as YouTube. If there's any other platform that releases in the future, I'll bet that I will be on that platform as well. For all you content creators on TikTok, I wish you guys the best. And to forewarn you that there is a three strike policy. So be really careful with what you post. If they can tear down a channel with 570 to 580,000 followers, then they can do it to just about anyone. I appreciate all of you guys that worried about how I was feeling, but honestly, I am more passionate with YouTube and Instagram in the first place. You guys will notice that in the type of content that I create. Aside from that guys i just wanted to throw a brief update on what's going on with the tiktok thing thank you guys so much for dropping by today and we'll catch you on the next one peace out